what's up beautiful people how you doing all i hope you're all having a fantastic day so today i come to you with another tutorial and uh, it is an off shoulder if you want to know how to sew it then stay tuned so this is the type of fabric that i'm working with and i have both the front and the back it initially it was a but it was a full body so i cut it and this is the length of it and i have this long piece over here which i'm going to make ruffles and it is six inches long so i'm just going to stitch the sides for both the front and back well i'm going to spread out my fabric so that i can sandwich both the front and back and stitch this one of the sides So this part is done, so I'm just going to stick the other side and yeah. So here it is and I have this elastic, one is for the bath and this one is for the top, for the bottom sorry. I'm just going to stitch it. After I'm done stitching, I'm just going to fold it and make the center of it with a pin. Then fold it again, then pin it. But I can you can either use a chalk or anything, but I'm just going to secure it with pins. After I found my centers, I'm just going to fold the fabric again. So I'm just going to take this elastic and place it there. And take the other one and place it. So this is to make my gathers even for both both areas either front or back or even sideways so after i'm done i'm just going to stitch it down so i'm just going to sew this down and as i sew it i'm going to stretch my elastic so that it won't form some unnecessary gathers so let me just show you how it looks so here's the finishing and the next thing that I'm going to do to the one side of the seam I'm going to fold that part then with the other side I'm going to fold it and sew it down so as I sew it down I'm going to stretch both the front and the left side so that it won't give me again unnecessary gathers So here it how it look all done and neat. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take this piece over here and to the one side of the end I'm going to pin my elastic and to the other end I'm going to pin the other end of the elastic and to the center of the elastic I'm going to attach it to the center of this long fabric so then sew it down again as I stitch it I'm going to stretch it out so that it will give me unnecessary gathers as well well here it's how it looks so I'm just going to fold this part here and stretch it out again so as I stitch it I stretch it as I stitch it I stretch it So the next step I'm going to stitch the ends of my long ruffles so I'm just going to stitch it down after that is done I'm going to take my top so to the one end of the maybe front or back whichever the side you pick so I'm just keep picking any side so I'm just going to take a piece of the ruffle 
place it like so and stitch that part so as I stitch it I'm stretching as I stitch it I'm stretching only the ruffle not the fabric since the fabric doesn't have elastic so where the ruffle and the fabric are attached together so that is the front so to this right of the front and this left of the front I'm just going to pin it this together then stretch my ruffle so that I can find the center of it so here it is so with the other piece of the fabric which is the back I'm going to fold it so that I can find the center of it so here it is I'm just going to take my ruffle and join this together so to the left side I'm just going to stretch it out so that I, my front will fit this ruffle so the other piece that is remaining let me show you the piece this piece is where my arm will like the sleeve so as I stitch it down I stretch it as I stitch it down I stretch it but only the ruffle not the fabric so here it is as you can see this where my arm will enter so at this point to this line you can see I'm just going to add another stitch on top of it so that it will lie flat on my chest when I'm wearing it and here's our shoulder top and you can wear it in many ways like so so if you like it give it a thumbs up share subscribe God bless